So I want to corner off the shower on that end. You want so to put the shower in that corner? Yeah. So in here, you want to move plumbing? Yes. This is a concrete floor. We can't bust up 16 floors. You can't sell this room and be like this. It scares me a little bit that we're so early in this stage and the design team is coming up with some bigger ideas. That adds a ton of work and cost. We came in from day one talking about utilizing the existing infrastructure and renovating it, not reworking the infrastructure. Adam, what do you think? Uh, I think if we want to try and stick within the timeline of opening, it's already tight as it is. And my battle is I'd rather not renovate it and when we're ready and financially we can afford it, we renovate it. If once. we, I think you're missing the point. If we don't open these rooms and rent them out, we will never be able to afford to renovate these rooms. Of course, all of us had expectations coming into this. Every time we walk around, there's there's more things that we're noticing and more ideas that are coming out. And now that we've started demo and we're starting to see that our scope of work, our cost, our timeline, everything is going to be extended, and that I have some concerns there. I would just really feel like it's a shame to not do the bathroom properly because you can't go back and do it once we're open. But I don't think redoing this the way it is would be not doing it properly. We're going to butt heads a little bit, but we really have to sit down and do that cost-benefit analysis of how much work and how much money are we willing to spend and how much of that are we going to recoup based on the decisions we make. I think we need to sit and think long and hard about what will be ready for opening. Yeah. And that yeah. might not be the hotel block. Let's get all of the villas done and just do the villas. This okay. has to get done first. If I'm renting a villa back here and paying premium rates for it, I don't want to walk past a whole hotel block that's under renovation all the time. If we get the hotel block done enough that it has been gutted and the outside has been redone, when we close, that's when you guys come in and you're doing the tiling and all We of can't that. afford to leave 18 rooms unrented. Well, there's two front ones that we have. We can't afford to leave <laughs> any of these rooms empty and vacant and not renovated. Something here has to be a lot of work. The, the whole thing is going to be a lot of work already. Next on the list, we said villas are almost done, but we can circle back the next time you're down. And then we need to really tackle the clubhouse. That's going to be a big project. Huge. So apart from our design, how are you feeling about your kids and being here and... We've adjusted relatively well. Mm -hmm. Given the amount of stress that Brian and I are both under right now, it's just operations. Mm -hmm. So the um, website's going live when? Monday. Monday. Like the day after tomorrow, Monday. Oh my God, I know. When Brian and I got into this project, we knew we were gonna face some pretty big obstacles, but we promised no matter what that we would try and communicate as best as we could. Unfortunately, that's not the case right now. So I'm going to draw out to see where we can move the washroom. There's a lot of tension between Brian and I. I want to reconfigure the bathrooms. He's adamant that he will not and does not want to. Neither one of us is willing to budge. Hey, B. <laughs> you won't believe I have a surprise here. What is going on here? Yeah. Oh, come on. During demolition, we discovered termites. So they're underneath the floor. Yes. Why are they right there? Number one, you see the grooves in these joints? Yeah, they just travel. I give access for them to just build up nests all day. Are they under the next one, too? That's why I know. They're now apparently living between clay and, and concrete. I mean, these are extremely hateful little things, vengeful. So it looks as if it was just a nest right there. Look at them while they're leaving. I'm telling you. Don't let them leave. They're going to go back in the hotel room. Great decision to take these tiles off. Great decision, but it didn't look like they're coming up easy. No. In the main lobby, the clay tiles are proven to be incredibly difficult to chip up. And if we end up having to chip up the plumbing in the hotel block, we're definitely going to need more labor, which is going to add to an already inflated budget. Last thing we need is bad luck on this project. Adam and I are finishing up the demo in the Oceanfront hotel room today. So we're 
We're finding all kinds of good things. Is the water on? Yeah, the shutoffs are pooched. Oh, great. Oh, sh Come on now. Oh, God. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm great. I'm great. That water hasn't been out of that pipe for probably 10 years. Look at that. These aren't pressure treated. These are. Because the studs are solid. But the strapping is not has an issue. This doesn't say to me, you may have to open up a few of the bathrooms. This says to me, you're completely gutting every single bathroom. Yeah, 100 percent Mold, rot, termites, it's just destroyed. I don't like that right behind the shower. Especially seeing as the shower was just put on drywall. We're taking the ceiling down, and most of the timber seems to be OK. Oh, I've broken the fan. Right there. Hey, Kevin. Hey, how you doing, Brian? Not too bad, buddy. What's going on? I'm great, man. Good to see you. Good oh, to see good you. Good to see you. Yeah. Here's the issue. OK. Well, I think you know what the issue is, but I can kind of see it. I happened to be down at the dock one day and uh, met this great guy, Kevin, who is the island's only licensed exterminator. I'm actually from this island. Uh, this is home to me. We get that thing up there in the ceiling. See that? Yep. We have to get rid of that. That's really bad. Yeah. Where was this at? This is in the bathroom. Wow. The, yeah, whole, this is awesome. the whole bathroom. There's the other one over there. Yes, yes. This is just years of decay. Yeah. Years of decay. So what is what is this? I mean, they eat it and then yeah, they kind of ingest it. Um, poop? Uh, I won't say poop, but it's just um, it's the they, stuff they that comes out the other end. Yes, yes. They kind of soften it up. <laughs> so how much of this do you need up? I just pulled 25 inches up around the base. Most of the tournaments we have over here, they're subterranean. Okay. okay. So they come from the ground up. So when we come in, once we have access to the the lower level of the foundation. Mm -hmm. It'll be perfect for us to treat. You may still have to move the, the rotten wood, you know? So there's going to be a lot of that. Yeah. Sometimes, too, depending on the building, we would actually dig a trench all the way around the perimeter so that when they come up to the barrier, they walk into the stuff we have there, mm. and then they end up taking it back home. OK. Now, big question. Yes? Cost-wise. Uh-oh. Because we've done, yeah, oh, uh-oh. Must, must you show me what all you need to be done? OK. Yeah. I can just do uh, one price and we go from there. OK. Yeah. So that's pretty easy. That's easy. It's uh, 18 hotel rooms, <laughs> the entire main building, uh -huh. and 22 villas. Wow. So you're looking at about a, maybe a, like a week, a week and a half. Week, week and a half of work? Yeah. It's a vast area. Oh, yeah. I mean, we really got to make sure. It's a vast project. Yeah. Vast is a really good word to describe <laughs> this one. Yeah. Sarah has seen and is well aware that we have some termites on the property, but I want to bring her in here and show her the extent of the damage so she can understand you know, how much more work that is to deal with, and she can keep that in mind when she's planning the rest of the rooms. Oh, this is bad news, bad, bad news. Very, oh, that's very bad news. Yeah. So it's termite infested, basically. Termite infested. Every bathroom and every room needs to be opened up two feet up and the entire bathroom stripped. Yeah. It's going to be a nightmare to remove. More money, more time, more stress. Fabulous! So we're adding a ton of work, which leads me to our table discussion about moving rough-ins in the floor. That adds another ton of work. So just keep that I thought you were going to say there's light at the end of the tunnel because we're already so deep. No, we can't go that deep. I hate this. Oh, I love this part. It's great. <sighs> yeah. 